What's up, superstars? I'm back with another care package video because people keep sending me stuff. It's totally unnecessary, but I do really appreciate it. And I'm thinking of turning this into sort of a monthly vlog type deal. So after mail days, I'll show you a little bit from my recent trip to Tribe Fest and a new frequently asked questions segment. So here we go. First up is Dave Durango. Dave entertains us in his late night hangouts with his groovy guitar stylings and plenty of breaks, so I got in on some oddball stuff just for the giggles. I bought these rock cards and then he broke a box of bench warmers, hubba hubba. I'm sure Milo will like those. And because he's the nicest guy on the internet, he sent me a couple of cards from my PC. Beautiful Alex Cole and autographed Corey Snyder. I started collecting in 88, and Corey was my very first favorite player, so this card is amazing. And the Chrome Trevor Bauer, numbered to 25. I love it. Fantastic stuff, Mr. Durango. I had recorded the actual opening of this package, but I'm a doofus and seem to have lost the camera card. So if anyone sees a camera card like this one, would you please let me know? I sent Dallas F. a Christmas card and he also won a sketch in 118. He responded with this lovely thank you card where he says, I make great content and that I'm a fantastic artist. Well, that's just silly, but kind of you to say, Mr. Foster. You may be the nicest guy on the internet. But what's this? Oh, wow. A PSA 10 1982 Aussie. Just beautiful. Thank you so much, Dallas. This is so cool. Up next is this huge package from Mark at Project 88 TTM. That's what she said. Mark also won a drawing in 118 and he commissioned some work for me recently. I've mentioned him a couple times in my videos. He's been trying to put together a complete set of autographed 1988 Topps Baseball. It's such a cool set and a cool project and Mark's a super nice guy. Perhaps even the nicest guy on the internet. Lots of Tomies, wow. I know I don't have all of these. Ooh, look at that super cool heritage Bob Wickman. These keep going and going. Julio! Here's the second box. You got a CC rookie, Bieber rookie, Santana, Cliff Lee. Very cool, Mark. I love these. Manny rookie. Thank you. These just keep going and going and going and going. Last week, my in-laws came over for dinner, and my father-in-law was digging through his attic and found some stuff that he thought I'd like. He was not wrong. He found this 1962 Pirates yearbook. This one is really fun to look through. There's Clemente, and there's Mazeroski. I like these spring training shots with the families. Neat stuff. And he gave me this Jim Brown photo, too. That's really awesome. If my father-in-law was on the internet, he might get the distinction of nicest guy on the internet. And speaking of the nicest guy on the internet, Jonathan from Autistic Family Collectibles sent me some goodies. Time for Excalibur. Here's an Adam Simber rookie, no name variation. We got a green Jake Bowers, auto swatch Bowers, and another auto swatch Jake Bowers. Very cool. And then two days later, another package showed up from Jonathan. He sent me these just for being silly during a live stream. Chrome Refractor Jose Ramirez. We got a blue chrome update Bieber numbered to 150. Awesome sauce. And this private issue gallery Adam Simber numbered to 250. Thank you so much, Jonathan. You've all been so kind and generous. I'm just amazed with the generosity in this community every day. So a thousand times thank you. Last week, I saw a lot of people getting to go to their team's fan fests, and I was getting kind of jealous, but Indians Tribe Fest was yesterday, and I had a blast. I have my complaints about the cost of autographs and the way they set them up, but still fun nonetheless. I've got some art content related to this coming up, but here's what I got from the Tribe alumni. I'm finding the old guys are the nicest and most fun to meet in person. They even got a kick out of me wearing a camera on my head. Look how much time Len Barker takes to sign. <laughs> He even inscribes everything without being asked. Len's great. Here's uh, the Super Joe Charbonneau ball. Joe won the Rookie of the Year in 1980, and his career went into a tailspin because of injuries, but we still love him. I have noticed his signature used to be a lot more clear, but I'm not one to complain. Here's the Len Barker ball. He pitched a perfect game on May 15, 1981, and he was in the All-Star game, which was also in Cleveland that year, and I was able to find this cool 1981 All-Star ball. I'm hoping to have a more in-depth Len Barker video later this year, so look for that. And here's Mike Jackson, who pitched a ton in the 90s and was the Indians' closer for a while. This one's a tiny bit streaky, but it didn't smudge, so I'm happy. 
I spray my glossier cards with Aquanet hairspray before I get them signed and that seems to do a pretty good job prepping the surface. When I got home from Tribefest, I had a nice little package in the mail. I haven't been shopping too much on eBay lately, but I've been looking for a nice Rocky Calavito rookie for a couple years, and this one was right in my wheelhouse. It's graded a PSA 5, but the front is just about perfect. The corners are really nice, registration is fantastic, and the centering is right there too. I've seen nines that don't look this good. The back seems to have a little wax stain right there and right there. I can totally live with that. And I got it cheaper than most fives of this card, so bonus. I keep carrying it around the house with me so I can look at it because it's so pretty. My wife asked me if I was going to take it to bed with me. So I was talking to Brian from Walk and Balk this morning about team binders. I told him that for my 50s through 80s uh, sets, I have binder for each decade, and I told him that I'd show him how I have those set up. I tried to reduce the glare as much as I could here. So this is my 70s binder. For each year, I made a card with the checklist, so you can see I have most of uh, 1970 except for these last three high numbers, so I left the space for those. I got all of the 71 cards, and for the 72, I'm missing the last seven. Here's 73. There are two Buddy Bell rookie cards. One's an error. You can see there's a little gap on the border there, and there's the corrected version, so that's how I handle that. Any doubles just go alphabetically in a 5,000 count box. Here's my 80s binder, which is significantly bigger. I'll give you a peek at that. You see I started with 81 Donruss, then 81 Fleer, Super Joe, 81 Tops, scary. I'll jump to 89 here. I've got the Bowman in the eight card sleeves, Don Russ, Don Russ traded, Fleer, Fleer traded, 89 score, score, rookies and traded, 89 tops, there's the California Caterpillar, tops traded, and the 89 upper deck. Once I get into the 90s, it gets pretty unruly, but I'm working on it. So big hugs and thank yous to Dave Durango, Dallas F. Dallas hasn't made a video in a little while, but don't think I didn't notice Dallas. Uh, Project 88 TTM, Autistic Family Collectibles, and my father-in-law. Go check them out and check out Walkenbach. And I'll be back on Wednesday with 118 and Friday with more from Tribefest. So uh, see you superstars then.